Let's see Tom Hook develop super witch strategies. Starting with zap super witches. This one is purely a spam. We start with zapping out two inferno towers and then charging the super witches from one side. Let's begin. To test the power of this strategy, let's zap out that inferno tower and that expo together. We will use one earthquake and five lightning spells to do that. Over on this side, three lightning spells and one earthquake spell. That is going to leave that inferno tower standing. And if I had one more lightning spell instead of that free spell, then we could have destroyed that one as well. But it's fine, we will get that later on. We'll deploy the super witches, one ice golem, the log launcher. Let's deploy three super wall breakers and finally the heroes. Yes, that's the whole strategy. Now we will wait. The log launcher is going to open up the compartment of the eagle artillery. If I had placed that a little bit to the right, then the log launcher would have picked the eagle artillery and the inferno together. But I'm also willing to open up that inferno compartment right there. So it's fine. The clan castle is going to come out in a second. We do not have anything for that other than the warden ability. And we have got yetis inside our own clan castle. We will use the king ability and the warden ability together and wait. Finally, we have got the queen ability that we might pop on that town hall, which is low on health because of the yetis. There's another super witch on the left side that is going to damage the king. She might not take him out, but for sure she will damage him a lot. We'll use the queen ability on the town hall and that single. And hopefully, she also gets the enemy king. Over on the right side, this flank is looking strong. We have got super witches, the big boys and the king moving in. Our queen has tagged the enemy king out and she will get those internal defenses as well. And with that, there's nothing significant standing on this base and we have got super witch surviving. Yeah, I don't understand why some of the strategies are so easy to pull off and they can damage bases like this. And at the same time, some strategies are so hard to pull off. There's a chance that you might fail with that. So yeah, witches have always been overpowered and super witches are the same. This is zap super witch. You can also pair super wizards with this one and you can use a flame flinger in that. That way it will be kind of like a super witch smash without healers. But if you keep this simple like this, it's still good. Now we're gonna do Super Witch Smash. Here we will send the king from this side and make a good funnel. Warden walk on this side and charge the Super Witches from this side. Let's take out one Inferno Tower along with one Expo. Use one lightning spell there, four there. Then we'll take care of these two defenses and get some extra damage all around the area. Deploy one Giant, King and Super Barbarians for funneling. That will take a while. I'm not deploying the Grand Warden right away. Because if I do that, he is sure to follow the Barbarian King. And that is not ideal in this case. We'll let him walk a little bit ahead. Also make a funnel on this side with the baby dragon. Now this is a good time to open a way for our Barbarian King. We're gonna do that by deploying that Ice Golem, the tank and two normal wall breakers. Now this seems like a good time to deploy our Grand Warden. We will deploy that here and his heels. I would like him to take out that Archer Tower and also that Mortar. It's not totally necessary to take out that compartment 100%. I just want to take out some initial structures. Now we will deploy one giant over on this side and open away with our wall breakers. Or at least weaken up the walls. That will enable our log launcher to open those walls as fast as possible. Over here the king is able to take out the town hall. And now the next phase can begin. We start with one super witch, a giant. Let's deploy the wall breakers. They will not complete the job but one or two log strikes will be enough to take out that wall. Let's deploy all the super witches and now they will go in. Also deploy that balloon in a bit. Deploy a rage fill here. That will give initial boost to our troops and that is essential at this point. Also use the grand warden ability and the poison spell. I don't want the enemy clan castle to damage our troops too much. We will be raging them again to that point. Let them coast. I would like to open up that compartment with our jump spell. So we will deploy that right now. Also, we have an archer, so let's deploy her on that collector. From this point on, we have got nothing else other than the queen ability to use. We will be popping that in a few seconds. I want some extra archers for the clear because we do not have so much time. Let's pop that. This strategy is very strong. However, players usually time fail with this strategy because super witches are slow. They are tanky and bulky. However, they move and take down things at a very slow pace. That leads to time fail. We still have got 20 seconds and not a lot of percentage to climb. But even with that, this is going to be very close. When you are setting the funnel with your Grand Warden, do not use more than a minute. One minute is the ideal mark and if you can finish sooner than that, 
then that's even better. And right on the buzzer, we are going to get it. This is one interesting strategy to use, but it time fails. So keep that in mind. This time we have got Stone Slammer and a lot of value right there. So we can zap this compartment, charge the king from this side and deploy all the super witches from here. That should do it. Let's start with zapping out all these expos in a zoom here, deploy five of them with one quick and that will take care of all of them. After that, let's start making a funnel. We'll deploy two sneaky goblins on those collectors. Let's also deploy the king here and two wizards for his support. Let's deploy balloons on that cannon. I want to cut the path so that the super witches and their big boys do not wander off towards this side. Also deploy the baby dragon to take out that elixir storage. The king has gone far ahead and by the looks of it, he's going to take out the enemy queen. Meanwhile, we will deploy all the super witches, the balloons, the grand warden and our queen. We will hold on to our stone slammer for a bit and get ready with the rage spell. I will deploy them in their initial entry. The inferno towers are set on single mode, but the super witches and the queen should be able to get them. We will poison the enemy clan castle, use the warden ability, rage and deploy the jump spell on that town hall that will open up all the compartments. Another rage spell around that town hall as well. And about the stone sliver, I think I'll be charging that from the right side. We still have got the queen ability, that's cool. We will use that to pop that single inferno. Let's deploy the stone sliver. We also deployed three minions on that enemy king. They will chip away his health. And after that, they will take care of that elixir storage. We don't want the time fail, so you gotta deploy your cleanup troops as fast as possible. The eagle will fall to the queen and she will also take care of the final single inferno. Now from this point on, the queen has picked up tremendous amount of value and it is fine even if she falls. The super witches are remaining and they will sweep all the remaining buildings. The stall slammer still moving, most probably it will open up around those teslas. And we still have got a lot of balloons inside of that and one baby dragon. So the remaining defenses and even the air skellies are no big deal to that. The main issue comes down to the time and if you were able to manage it good then most probably you will get the 3 stars. We have deployed all the cleanup troops and even the main troops are going to join the cleanup troops right about now. That solo sneaky goblin is doing some work and it's good to have sneaky goblins at the end. They do a really good deal of clearing out the trash buildings and with that we will be able to pick up the 3 stars. That was Super Witch at Town Hall 12. I will be bringing more of the witch action and I will link it right here. And before we end this video, I would like to thank Harvey, Mithilesh Clash, Manish Power, Dalen, and you. Thank you for sending me the friend request. I appreciate all of you. And if you would like to do the same, then this is my player ID. See you next time.